Do you hear that baby screaming? They're already mad that I'm making noise in my gym. Hey, best pally, I'm Allie, and I do believe today is the day that I get my first home gym. There's been a lot of craziness leading up to this, which I didn't film because I was so under pressure for time. I would love for this intro to be in my home on the, and not so frantic with the phone talking and the, oh God, okay. <clears throat> Basically what I've heard is today is the last day before lockdown in LA and I am frantically scrambling to get a barbell and weights, which are all sold out everywhere. I called 20, 30 different big fives and they're all like, yeah, no, there was a huge run on barbells. So I guess there are more meatheads in LA than I thought, but when all the gyms closed, everybody went to go buy their own. Dick Sporting Goods is sold out, Sears is sold out. Sears, I was gonna buy a Sears barbell. And what I'm hearing is that tomorrow I won't be able to leave my house to look for something like this because it is non-essential. Obviously I feel it's essential, which is why I'm not spending my last day out getting toilet paper right now, I'm getting steel. So after all that retail searching, actually no, I forgot to mention that Rogue is even sold out if I wanted to pay a bajillion dollars for really nice weights that they have in really good CrossFit gyms. So then I found a barbell on Craigslist and that's where I'm headed right now. And then there is still a company far, far away from me that is selling weights and you can do it with curbside pickup. So this is my last chance. Okay. There she is. Oh, it's beautiful. Hello, new friend. You're coming home with me. Also, this is a gym that's closing down, so they're selling a ton of stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna talk and walk. I'm not sure if it's because of the lockdown, but I have a feeling this gym is not gonna be open for months, which is why I'm so frantic to get some weights right now. Uh -huh. All right, now let's go find you some friends. Now I said she is beautiful, or handsome, because I specifically wanted a female barbell that's lighter than a men's, which I know sounds sexist, but it's because women's Olympic lifting standards are different than men's, and they also have a different grip size, which is really important to me. I want to be lifting like the female Olympians, and so that's another reason why it was so hard to find this. Fitness equipment, that is what I want, no matter how sketchy it looks. They're supposed to close in like 30 minutes, and I'm hoping they weren't just like, eh, screw it, we're going home. Please be open. I'm checking in the back. Ooh, this looks promising. Oh, crazy. Everything's been like picked over. Oh, heck yeah. And those green guys, I didn't think I would be getting them, but they got a new shipment in. There is a gym in my car. I talked to another dude that was picking up right now, super yoked, and he's like, I drove in from San Diego. There's another one of these stores completely sold out, and he came all the way here to get a squat rack. Speaking of squat rack, I was able to find one on Amazon. It's not gonna get to my house for like, a week, maybe two. <laughs> hey, I'm getting a thumbs up for my turf car. These gentlemen love it. Hello, thank you, glad you like. <laughs> Shout out to my main channel. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is that Amazon was like, meh, we don't know, it, we're gonna we're gonna get it to you, we just don't know when. But I do have a squat rack coming and I'm so very excited. I can't believe this worked out. There was a lot of effort that I did not show you that went into making this happen, but I'm so stoked that it did because it was like, this close to me only doing push-ups for indefinite amount of time. I do honestly think it's gonna be longer than people are thinking, and so that's why I'm sort of preparing for the long term. And all of this added together costs less than a month and a half at my gym, so it's kind of like, why didn't I do this already? Okay, I got it, I'm going home. To my home gym! I'm wiping down absolutely everything before I take it in, including you. And there it is! my home gym, it's here. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but that's because it doesn't have to be a lot. How much can I deadlift? 230 pounds. How much weight did I get? 230 pounds. But wait, Allie, don't you wanna leave room to improve? First off, great weight pun. And second, I am leaving room to improve. There's no way that I should be doing a one rep max deadlift in my apartment with like people around. So I plan on doing multiple reps, which means 230 is fine. My deadlifts will be great, my squats will be good once I get that rack. I can strict press, I can front squat, I can bench. Ooh, I'm gonna bench with my piano bench. I will not be doing heavy snatches or cleans because that's jumping movements again, banging around and dropping stuff. These plates are for dropping, they're called bumper plates. I just decided to throw them in, but I do also have 10 pounds with handles. Now, why did I do that instead of the droppy plate? Because now I have a full set of dumbbells too. So this setup is the best I could do with the space that I have as cheap as possible. Which means I'm basically a power lifter for the foreseeable future. Which if you don't know, power lifting is squat, bench, deadlift. And they're all slow movements and I won't be dropping anything and I will be doing accessories so that's a bit of bodybuilding. Bonus, my home gym includes stuff from my past videos. Up, oh, shake weight, this is gonna be super helpful. I feel very lucky that this happened and I was able to make it happen because shout out to Patreon team. All of you that support me on there, this is a part of it. This wouldn't happen without you. Thank you for keeping my fitness videos going. Thank you for keeping me 
going. This is bare bones, yes, but it's going to go a long way in keeping me happy and healthy, both mentally and physically. So again, I feel so stupid lucky. Also, shout out to Extreme Training Equipment because that's where I got these weights and when I was checking out I was like, oh I forgot to get clips and the dude was like, nah, just take them. Which I think partly was he's awesome and partly that they were just so overwhelmed. But also maybe not shout out to them because I don't know if that guy's gonna get in trouble for giving these away for free, but awesome! I also have these bike rollers from past videos. Why did I come into this room? Which means I can still do indoor cardio. This gym is so elaborate. Oh, I'm impressed. So there's gonna be a lot more coming for you from this space. Next video, hopefully, if it gets here, is gonna be the squat rack showing that off, figuring out how to build it, and squatting stupid heavy for the first time in several days. Ooh, maybe I'll test my one rep max. Do you hear that baby screaming? They're already mad that I'm making noise in my gym. Okay, kid, look, I gotta, I gotta stay healthy. You're just gonna have to deal with this because I gotta lift. I can't end this video without doing my first lift in my first home gym with you. And I know I said no snatching, but that kid is, huh. So we're doing this one as the inaugural lift. Ah, that felt good. Again, I feel very lucky and I'm so thankful and I love that you all are here for all of this.